Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back. I'm Maurice Dubois. Law enforcement across the tri state say they are focused on keeping the Jewish community safe from any potential threats. And some of them just returned from Israel after a harrowing weekend. CBS 2's investigative reporter Tim McNicholas joins us now with how that t trip took an unexpected turn. Yeah, Tim? unexpected is right. Christina Maurice, a group of about 30 law enforcement members from the NYPD and other local agencies arrived in Israel Friday for a seminar on threats to the Jewish community. They wound up spending much of their weekend hiding in stairwells and security rooms during bombings. My phone is still going off. See what these are? Mitch Silber hasn't turned off the notifications yet. He just arrived back in New York Monday morning. Every time there's a, a rocket launch, this app goes off, and depending on where you are, it lets you know that there's a, a rocket launch coming to your direction, and then it directs you to shelter in place. An unsettling reality for Silber and Richard Prem, who both lead security groups focused on protecting Jewish New Yorkers from anti-Semitic threats. They were joined in Israel by local law enforcement members for a seminar that was supposed to start Saturday, but it wasn't just push alerts warning them that morning. From about 6.30, 9.30 in the morning, there must have been about 20 of these sirens that went off, and each and every time, wherever you are in the hotel, you had to get into the stairwell, get into one of the security rooms. Silber says he took this video Saturday from his hotel of an Israeli missile intercepting a rocket. With the attacks affecting travel, the group decided to cut the week-long seminar short and start planning their trip home. They managed to fly to Dubai Sunday and then back home to New York, where their work continues. We're already seeing it. Uh, one of the, the, the synagogues that we work with had a, a car drive by and somebody stopping and, and, and threatening and shouting at the people that they support Hamas. They're going to follow Hamas' example. On Monday, the NYPD's chief of patrol said there are currently no credible threats and the NYPD is working hard to keep people safe in all religious institutions. And the department is prepared for more demonstrations. I will be out there in force to make sure everyone gets their first man right to speak, but there'll be no laws baby we're not going to tolerate any hate crimes any hate whatsoever that seminar was being held in the city of ashdod silber says there were attacks within just a few miles of their hotel christina maurice 